What if you could run straight up, into space? No spaceship, no elevator, just you and your legs. In just 48 minutes of steady running straight up, you'd be around 5 kilometers high. That's roughly the altitude of the Everest base camp, but without acclimatization, you'd already be in trouble. This is the start of what mountaineers call the death zone. After just one hour, you'd hit 12 kilometers, the cruising altitude of most commercial airliners. Now here's where it gets tricky. At around 80 kilometers, after eight hours, NASA considers that space. But globally, most scientists agree on a different boundary. The Karman line, 100 kilometers up. After 16 hours, you've climbed to about 160 kilometers, home to the lowest orbiting satellites. At 40 hours, you're looking down from 420 kilometers, right where the International Space Station orbits at 28,000 kilometers per hour. Still running? At 55 hours, you're brushing past Starlink satellites, around 550 kilometers up. They beam internet across Earth. Now here's the marathon. To reach the farthest human-made satellites, like Voyager 1's old buddies still orbiting Earth, you'd need to run for 3,500 hours. That's 146 days, straight up. Of course, you'd never survive the vacuum, radiation, or freezing cold. But it sure puts our place in the universe into perspective.